Hi everyone, this is Melissa, artist in residence at Imagine. Today I'm going to be making these cute little tags for goodie bags um, for Halloween. And I'm going to be using a number of Imagine and Sukuneko products. I'll be using this Tuxedo Black Irresistible, Fireworks Tuxedo Black, as well as a number of Memento markers, a Sugar Pea Designs stamp set called Monster Mash along with the coordinating dies, and this cute Whimsy Stamps die set that has those coffins in it. I'm going to actually use the coffins for the tag. So I'm starting off with a piece of Bristol Smooth um, paper and I'm spraying that with my fireworks spray. Now I'm going to tell you that you will get two very different looks if you use paper other than Bristol Smooth. Um, the Bristol Smooth does not absorb the, fire, absorb the fireworks sprays readily. And so what you do is you get this very mottled, marbly kind of texture. And I add water to that to make it even more marbled in texture. Now, if you use a crafting paper, um, a normal white cardstock that doesn't take water well, it will um, all absorb and you get a very smooth finish. So it actually is very versatile, but you can see I can get this very mottled kind of shiny just from using the tuxedo black and the... Um, little bit of water that I did. Now I'm taking the coffins and I'm cutting those out of that um, black paper that I made and then I'm going to cut the center out for the little red velvety um, shiny paper that I cut out as well. And then I'm, I also cut um, some out of a piece of heavy white cardstock so that I can layer those to get a nice sturdy tag. And I'm simply going to piece those together using a little bit of my on point glue. And I'll do that for each of the coffins that I made here for my tags. So you can see I take the on point glue and I actually take the white base and I spread it all over that white base um, so that I can add the outside layer of the coffin, the one that I made with that black tuxedo black firework spray. And then I can simply um, align that and then add the little red velvet portion of the coffin right to the center. I do use a paper towel to um, absorb any of the glue that I squeezed out of the center there so it doesn't show. It does dry clear though, which is nice. And then I'm just going to add a little weight to that so that those can dry. And in the meantime, I'm going to take a piece of hammer mill um, paper and ink this little vampire from Sugar Pea Designs up with my Nocturne uh, Versifying Claire. And I'll do that three times so I can make three tags. And then I'm going to color these little guys with my memento markers. Now um, I start with Tuxedo Black and I'm coloring his hair and his little cape um, black. And I will tell you that I'm just using these very um, simply this time. You can watercolor with um, these markers, and I would suggest if you want to do so, you scribble it onto an acrylic block and use a, um, a uh, watercolor brush. I would not add this to the piece of paper and then watercolor like you can other markers. These have a very different purpose in that um, they leave a nice solid you know, um, outline when you color with them, so you can't really watercolor. And as you know, these days, apparently vampires sparkle. So I'm grabbing some um, Shimmer Sheer Spray uh, from Imagine, and this happens to be the sparkle. And you'll see that I get a nice little sparkly finish on each of these vampires so that, you know, they look like Edward. And now I'm going to be um, glamming this vamp up a little bit more by taking some of that irresistible and tuxedo black and adding it to his hair and his cape. Um, and then for some of the other ones, I will also be using um, a clear, um, no, actually it's not the clear Pico irresistible, it's the shimmer irresistible um, for his little bow tie and belt. But you can see what I do is I squeeze a little bit out onto a paper towel and then I simply put it anywhere I want that black to show. So I'm going to show you here. I just squeeze a little bit out so I don't get any bubbles and then I go right to the surface and um, this is the clear shimmer and add that right to his little belt and bow tie and then also I'll put a little bit on his hair because it colored black and it's going to dry clear it's just going to give a little bit of shimmer so next I'm going to take this three-fourths inch um, hole punch and I'm going to punch a or I should say a circle punch I'm going to punch this small circle and I'm going to take this little trick-or-treat sentiment and I will emboss it so I'm adding a little bit of anti-static powder to the vellum and then I'm stamping onto the vellum and then adding um, 
some clear embossing powder. Now the ink that I used is the VersaFine Clair. It works great for embossing. And so I put that clear embossing powder on there, hold with my tweezers, and then heat it up. It gets very hot and it blows all over the place. So that's why I like to use tweezers. So next, in order to make a tag, I'm going to take my crocodile and just punch some holes in the top of these little coffins um, in each one. And then I'll be adding a little bit of twine and ribbon to those so that I can tie them onto goodie bags. I'm going to take my on point glue and put that on the back of the vellum. I will tell you vellum curls. So you don't see me do this in the video, but you do want to place an acrylic block over that or put some weight on that vellum tag um, or that vellum circle because it will curl up on you. But if you add weight with the on point glue, it won't. Then I will take some foam dots. If you have wobbles, I would suggest using those for these little guys too. That would be super cute. And I adhere them and I have a finished tag. I hope you enjoyed today's project here at Imagine and that you'll join us again for more tutorials. Make sure to check out the description box for all links to materials that I used in today's video.